from the pages of NZ V8 magazine. Nothing beats the sight and sound of a V8. This is NZ V8 TV. Brought to you by Smith's Group, suppliers of quality automotive car care products. As with many things over the years, New Zealand has often punched well above its weight on the world motorsport stage. Many of those early pioneering successes shaping the motorsport that we see today. Fortunately for us, a lot of that early Kiwi success was also powered by our beloved V8. Cars such as this, the 1966 McLaren Mark I Can-Am car. Bruce McLaren's first attempt at taking on the world in Can-Am racing, a series that he would like to come to dominate with Kiwi Denny Holm. And here's some cars that Denny would certainly relate to. We're at the Central Muscle Cars at Taupo. And while we're travelling back in time, we visit the Nostalgia Drags at Fram Auto Light Dragway. And we wrap up with a second look at the amazing beach hop from Whangamata. We've got an amazingly rich history of V8 saloon car racing here in this part of the world. Names like Johnson, Brock, Moffat, Alan Grice, Jimmy Richards, and even the hard-charging Kiwi privateers, the Anderson brothers, Wayne and Bruce, seen here in the Pine Pack Mustang of the mid-80s that raced at the Wellington Street Race and even at Bathurst. Well, just like in every other part of life, people yearn for the glory years, and this form of racing is making a comeback. And here in New Zealand, we've got the central muscle cars to bring out all the Camaros, Mustangs, Corvettes, and Commodores. The big bangers are back, and we went to Taupo last weekend to check them out. Uh, I'm Steve Hildreth. Um, this is Ian Williamson. We're both involved with uh, st the starting of Central Muscle Cars, which you see here today. Probably uh, 10 or 12 new cars to the series, so it's building all the time actually. It's, uh, it's a great series, different cars, a lot of noise, tyre smoke, all the, all the usual things that people like to see, so it's uh, a really good series, come and watch. Now I've got nothing to say here except just listen to this. About 25 cars or 27 cars looking to go to uh, Australia for the uh, Australian Muscle Car Masters uh, at Eastern Creek, so it's a, a big event for us. And as gorgeous as these cars are, in race one the boys set straight out to prove they ain't no show ponies. Watch the Mustang of Greg Honor get squeezed out by the Commodore into turn one. Uh, we've been running a 1964 Mustang for the last six seasons. When we originally bought the car, we had 500 horsepower. The series has now moved to the stage where if you need to be competitive, you've got to have at least 600 odd horsepower. Um, so over the last few seasons, we've developed the car and put a six and a half litre engine in it. It's now developing about 690 horse. Uh, we turned the engine to about 7,500 RPM. Uh, we're running a dart block, aluminium heads, it's the sort of car that uh, you have to um, tread lightly with the throttle otherwise you'll end up pointing back in the opposite direction. You know, we're, we're trying to get more traction as, as time goes on but uh, uh, the best that we can do is um, the way the car's set up, we've got to stay with four link, uh, sorry, leaf spring rear end, not allowed to go four link, so uh, the traction is what it is. We run. Um, a Jericho gearbox, four speed, uh, close ratio, they're good for about 800 horsepower. We're in our sixth season now. Last season we won the championship in Group 1. Uh, took four seasons to, to do that. Previous seasons we finished uh, second and third, so uh, this season at the moment we're running third in the championship, but uh, we're hoping maybe to pick second off if we can, either this weekend or in, in four weeks' time when we run at Manfield. We, we run 17 inch rims, uh, the maximum uh, rim width we can run is 11 inches so we can get a 300 uh, wide tyre on that. And you'll be wanting all the tyre you can get when you're trying to put 600 plus horsepower to the ground through 1960s suspension technology. The man to beat in race one at Taupo as he has been throughout this entire championship was Shane Wigston in the HQ Holden. And more of these seriously cool machines when we wrap up the Central Muscle Cars from Taupo in next week's show. The nostalgia drags at Fram Auto Light Dragway and Mary Mary showcase the best of early New Zealand drag machines. Front engine rails to tea buckets, muscle cars, it was all there, every type of engine you could imagine, as long as it was a V8. 
This is uh, the 2009 uh, World's End Sports Cafe and Bar Nostalgia Drags. As you can see, there's a hell of a lot of people here, and uh, everybody's got big smiles on their faces, including me. So we're having a good day so far. The Nostalgia Drags are all about celebrating the heady development years of drag racing with pre-1978 American cars and hot rods. If it's cool and American, it's here. And speaking of cool, just listen to the supercharger on Aussie drag legend Victor Bray's 57 Chef. Every person that's here in, in New Zealand at the Nostalgia Nationals, they're here because they're just so passionate about the cars. It's just amazing what you know, the people bring the cars, the variety of cars. Yeah, I love door slammers. That's all I've ever driven is door slammers. I don't drive dragsters, funny cars, nothing else. I love the door slammers. I'm actually like a street custom dude that just likes to race cars. So uh, that's about where it comes from. 50, 57 Chev fanatic. Love going drag racing. And the love of drag racing is why everyone was at the Nostalgia Drags. Showcasing every kind of vehicle over the history of drag racing. And what's interesting to note is some of the cars running here this weekend are still competing in and winning an NZDRA competition today. This is uh, Bay Rodder's fourth year of running this event. The third year that we've brought uh, an Aussie uh, Trans-Tasman Challenge team over. This year we've got three staunch cars running and also we've got uh, Team Bray. They've brought over their, um, oh, Victor's car has had 57 Chevy, 2,000 horsepower. He's had it since he was 16 and they just brought it over for a pretty much demonstration skid. So these two here, uh, the two front engine dragsters of Paul Sattler pins and John Fleming from Australia. Watching those two to run side by side uh, is cool. The Topolino of uh, Dave Gould and Marcus Page's uh, Bantam from Aussie is also, in fact, it's pretty hard to pick out one, one car. There are so many cool cars here today, it's unbelievable. Nah, nah, I don't say Chev around here, mate. Chev and Ford, forget it. If you want a fast car, you've got to have a Mopar. That's uh, based on a uh, 400 Chrysler motor. Not, it's smaller than a 440. Yeah, you know, a little bit narrower and all that sort of stuff. But it's alloy block, alloy heads. Uh, everything's aftermarket on the motor. Not one part came out of a Chrysler factory. V8, it's the deep rumble that comes from inside. That, you know, you just know that you've got heaps of power. It's better than whap, 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 whap. You get from little rotors, you know. 40 years ago, someone went and got milk at the dairy of this car. It started off life as a VG Valiant, but the reality is the uh, all steel components of this car, which is the, the steel body and the back quarters and all that, were still stamped out in the factory in the States. And they sent the, uh, the body shells to Australia, where they put the Australian front end on it and put the old um, Hemi 6s in them, not the Hemi 8s, unfortunately. And speaking of cars that are still competitive today, Paul Hammond's VG Valiant is still a regular front runner in Supergas competition, punching out tough 9.9 .9 second runs. 